what is up everybody welcome back to the channel just a quick tutorial on how i set up my karcher calendar this calendar you guys is super super important whether it's whether it's a karcher calendar whether it's a calendly or schedule once there's a there's a handful of, of popular softwares out there for um, appointment scheduling but all of them you got to pay for and another reason why I love Kartra is because everything is all in one I literally use Kartra for my email autoresponder for my landing page software for all of my digital products for my membership hosting I have courses all that is hosted on Kartra my videos are hosted on Kartra my affiliate marketing is all in Kartra I can build sales funnels and sell them to people I can build sales funnels and give them to people um, so Kartra is just an all-in-one type of platform and it's just it's it's it, it works amazingly well for anyone building a business online um, or even offline offline your whole objective is to capture leads online as well so you need a software um, just like this and and Kartra is all in one so all I'm gonna do you guys is set up a calendar um, so if you're a consultant a coach or any type of, of, of professional where where you're dealing with clients and you're looking to get appointments scheduled. Um, one huge strategy is simply running paid traffic, um, running paid traffic to a specific ad, um, giving away something for free of value, a free download, a free, a free PDF, um, and then in hopes of getting that person to schedule an appointment. Um, taking them to a thank you page. Once they download your offer, you take them to a thank you page and it's you on video um, getting them to schedule an appointment. That's one huge, amazing strategy that works very, very well. Um, and, then, and then if you're not doing it that way, you're getting people to opt in. You're running paid traffic. You're getting people to opt in and, um, and, um, and through, it, through your email autoresponder, through your sequence, that's when you can get people to get to schedule appointments as well. Um, so you want to be able to automate all of it and you need some type of, of calendar software. So Kartra is, is a huge one for me. Um, I get a lot of people to, to schedule appointments with me when I offer a free book, which is a free download. I take them to a thank you page and it's me on video getting them to schedule an appointment or, or I should say, and I get them to schedule appointments through my emails that, that I send out. Um, via my autoresponder, um, sending out via val or getting value, giving value, giving value, and then getting people to schedule an appointment um, through my email series. So they're clicking on a link, they're going to get, they're going to the calendar, um, and they're scheduling appointments. So, so a dream, dream, dream for most online entrepreneurs that are, that that need to to get clients on the phone. A dream is to wake up every single day with a calendar full of appointments and it was and and the entire thing was automated because you were running paid traffic and you got all these people in your funnel and you got a ton of people scheduling appointments every single day based on your schedule. There's nothing more powerful than that. So I'm going to I'm going to show you how I just simply set up a quick um, calendar all in Kartra. And so when you log into Kartra, you're going to click on my calendars on the left and it'll bring you here. Um, and you just click on the green button and then depending on your model, um, there's consultant model, there's re recurrent class model, um, there's gym model, live event model. So depending on, on the objective, I go with consult consultant model, but if you go to recurrent class model this is for those of you that have you know any type of online training where there's a reoccurring training or any type of, of of class like a gym class a yoga class a meditation class any type of coaching classes where it happens ongoing you can go with this model um, a gym model there's different your recurring sessions will be set at a fixed day hour of the week and multiple users may subscribe to them so this is powerful as well and then you got live event models um, your one-off live events will be sent a fixed date and time to the in the calendar and multiple users may subscribe to them so a few different examples a, a few different templates that you can go with I'm gonna go with consultant model um, and this right here is what I've been using for the past year now. So I'm gonna name this one Archer Management Group. We're gonna click on Create, and we're gonna go into the Builder. 
so there's a few tabs up here that we're going to rock with. And then um, as far as the logo, let's see if we have a logo. We don't have a logo right now. Um, let me see if I can find a logo. Uh, you know what? Let me see if I can grab this one. Um, we'll grab this one right here. Okay, so I'm going to grab that logo and I'm going to place that logo right here. And it tells you the dimensions 250 by 50, but let me just put this here for the example. Actually, you know what? Let's let's do the whole damn thing. I'm going to give it give it all to you. Car or Carva, car, Canva is 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 the most powerful free website where I design all my images. Um, so Canva is super, super powerful. 250 by 50 custom dimensions, 250 by 50 to create design. And we'll just simply upload that image and get the proper dimensions. So we hit uploads over here to the left. We'll click on upload an image. We'll get, go with that one. And sometimes, you know, based on the on the actual photo, it might not always work out. And so what I'm going to have to do is just make this one a little smaller. But it's better than how it how I had it looking before. Actually, you know what we should we might be able to make it work. Now it's a little off, but we're gonna we're gonna just still we're gonna just make it work. Um, okay, let's just. Um, it's a little, little chopped off at the top, but you know what? It's better than, it's better than how, it, how I had it before. So just hit download, download, and then we'll upload that image. Let's get that one. That one's going to be this one right here. And we'll just do it for, we could, we'll always, we could always fix it later. So I'm going to save that and then custom marquee. I can also put an image right here. So, um, this right here can be a really cool image. Let's see if I can maybe grab. Um, let's see if I can grab. I'll just grab this one right here, this cover photo. Let's grab this one. Let's save image. Download, save. And then let's go back to Kartra and let's get the dimensions. 1920 by 350. So 1920. 1920 by 350. Okay, so let's 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 get this one saved real quick. Um Okay, so let's upload this image. Upload. Let's grab this one real quick. And again, it looks a little funky, but It will work. It will work. Okay, so let's grab that. Let's grab that. Perfect. Doesn't look that bad. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and upload our image. Upload file. And it's this one right here. And we'll hit next. And there's a, a bunch of different ones that you can choose from, but you know, I'll upload, I'll up, upload ours. Now it looks a little, little distorted, little blurry, but you know what? We'll have to just rock with it for right now. Um, welcome to my calendar. You can change this text right here if you want. And then I'll just hit save. And then let your users select their respective time zone. We'll just leave it with that. So when they get to the calendar, they can choose their time zone. And then you may create multiple classes in the same calendar. 
So this is super powerful as well. Class one, class two, class three. So it gives you an example. Um, yes, I understand. Yes, I understand. And then right here is where we can choose our different um, um, times. So up here, we can go with um, yoga class advanced. We'll go um, free consultation call. And then how to effectively how to effectively manage your tenants okay and then we'll just simply go with that add that and then uh, starting points so these are the intervals so we can get appointments scheduled on the hour five minutes after, 10 minutes after, 15 minutes hour after. I normally go with on the hour or at the half hour. You guys can choose whichever one you want. And then uh, session duration, we'll leave it for an hour. And then buffer, I like, to, I like to go with a buffer. You know, like after one appointment, I don't want another one to be scheduled right away. You know what I mean? So I'll normally have like a buffer of 15 minutes. And then this right here, it's all in Eastern. So you have to make sure that, that you're, you know, that you know what's going on here. You don't want to schedule 9 a.m. thinking that it's Pacific time and, and your, your clients are able to, you know, schedule appointments when you're sleeping. Don't do that. So make sure you're, you're familiar with this right here, Eastern. Um, and then what you can do is this right here is in military time. So I'm going to choose, I'm going to change this 9 a.m. I'm going to go to, um, I'm going to just, I'm going to just, I'm going to go to 12 because that's, that's Pacific time. That's 9 a.m. Pacific time, right? And then the military time, I'll go till 5 p.m. So this is in military time. So if we just go to this right here, here's a, a simple clock. You guys can easily Google military clock. Um, and then I'm going to go 5 p.m., 5 p.m. military, but it's Eastern, right? So we have to go 8 p.m. And that's going to be 2100. Or 20, 20 hundred. So that right there is what I want to make sure that I have this set up at. So we're going to go with this one, 20. So that right there. And we'll just keep it, we'll keep it at that time um, throughout the entire week. Okay, so we'll just put 20 on all of them. 20. And then this is 12. Okay, so we got 12, 12, and then we got 12 over here. We'll go 12. We'll go 12. And then 20. So that's the biggest thing, you guys, is just making sure that you understand the Eastern time zone and then you understand the military uh, time converter. Okay, so that's that. And then what I also do is I don't, I don't keep all these checked. Like, like we're, if, if we're in the month of January, I'm going to only allow people to schedule appointments in the month of January. Like I don't want the whole entire year, you know, available to schedule an appointment because I don't want anyone scheduling an appointment way far out because a lot of times people forget, even though they get a notification, they forget. And so I only want to give them like like and, and I have to micromanage my calendar, which I don't mind doing at all. Um, I'll come in here and I'll make sure I update it every 15 days. So I'll, I'll leave it open from the 1st to the 15th. People can schedule an appointment. Okay. And the number of sessions, you can, you know, let them choose. This right here says um, number of total sessions as a user subscription should be made made of. For example, if you're running a four session training program, one session per week, you should type four in this field. So I'll just leave that at one. And then right here, booking notice, minimum booking notice. Don't allow same day booking. Don't allow bookings for a day for today or tomorrow. Don't allow bookings within the next two days. So you guys can can manage this as 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 you know as tight as you want. What I like to do to do is I don't allow same day bookings. Like that's just me. I like to prepare for that next appointment and I, I like to prepare a day in advance. So I don't allow same day bookings. And then here you can block out any days that you want. You can make it a, a free session or a paid appointment. So this is super powerful right here. Um, and then 
the opt-in form is you have to make sure that you that you create an opt-in form. So we'll come back over here and we'll create an opt-in form for the calendar. That's its own opt-in form. When people come to the calendar, they put their name and number. Um, that's its own opt-in form. So we'll come back and we'll we'll have to configure that one um, later, which um, let's do this real quick right now. So all we do is come to the form and then this is going to be um, Archer Management Group calendar. All right, let's go appointments. Okay, so we'll go appointments and that's the name of this form. Okay, and then the form filled, we're just asking for basic info, name and name and email, nothing crazy. So we'll just leave that as, as that, save, um, save and next, and then it'll be a single opt-in form. And then the success page, we haven't set up the success, success page just yet. When they schedule an appointment, they go to a thank you page. After they schedule, they go, hey, you know, to the next page, hey, thank you for scheduling. And then so that page needs to be configured. So that's not configured um, just yet. Simple page and then a welcome message. Um, I'll choose not to send one out here. So don't send any welcome message right away um, because I'm going to have that set up on, on the other end. So I'm going to subscribe them to a list. We're going to create a new list. We're going to create um, name of list, Archer Management Appointments. Thank you for scheduling. Okay. Then we'll hit create and then we'll hit add. That's the list that we're now going to be sending people to. Okay. So no sequence, no automations, don't need that. Um, and then in Karcher page, that's fine. Save and next, and we're finished. Okay, so now we may have to refresh this page, which, which is going to throw off what I already wrote, but whatever. Um, because now that, that form will be available to choose from. So we'll go Archer Management, perfect. Um, got that. Um, all this needs to be reset, but I'll just do that later. My bad, you guys. The form had to have been done first. Okay, so free consult consultation call. Ways to effectively manage your tenants. Okay, so we'll go with this. Go with this. And then we'll change this to that one hour. We'll change this to 15 minutes. And then we'll change these times later, whatever. And the number of booking notice, don't allow same day. And then it's going to be a free. And then right here, the opt-in form, this is where, damn, that can, it needs to be configured. Dang it. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to create that thank you page really, really quick. So come into pages, I'm going to hit this page, the green one, and I'm going to just choose a quick thank you page. Thank you pages. And it'll be, let's just say, let's call it, mm, let's just select this one. And this will be, um, thank you for scheduling. So that form and the thank you page needed to be set up first. Okay, so no, no category in particular, create. And this will be the simple thank you page. So when people schedule, and I'll edit this page later, but when people schedule, they, um, they hit a confirmation page, and that's the, the success page. That's the thank you page. So what I'm going to do is I'll edit this page later, but I will just simply save and publish this page live. So we'll hit, actually we could just hit publish live 
and now that page is live. So we'll change this link out and we'll go to archermanagement.info. Thank you for scheduling. Okay, so that's the actual thank you page, right? That's the thank you page. Let's return a dashboard. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in to the form. So I'm going to come to this form and I'm going to, I'm going to see how it says it's in red confirmation configuration is incomplete. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back and just simply tie that thank you page to the success uh, page. That's what's missing. And then once I do that, then the form is complete. So I'm glad I'm, I'm doing it this way, you guys, that way you can see what the hell, you know, the hiccups, if, if you guys get stuck, you'll know why. Um, okay. So it's this thank you page success page, um, external or Kartra. It's a Kartra page. It's uh, no site in particular, and it's going to be this thank you for scheduling. That's the one right there. So now our form is complete. And now we can come over here and finalize this calendar. Now the opt-in form will show up right there. Okay. So let's finish it up here. Okay, so we got that, we got that, save and next. Um, you guys get it with the actual free consultation call. How to effectively manage your tenants. Okay, so let's do this last part, you guys. And we're done. We'll leave it at that. We'll leave a buffer of 15 minutes. We'll configure that schedule later. Number of sessions. Okay, don't allow same day. Free. And now here's our form. Bam. That's the form right there. Then we can save. And then save and next. And then communications. Yes, communicate with your users. This right here is powerful. This is the email that is going to be the send and the from. So when they receive an email, it'll be coming from there. And this is the booking confirmation. So this is what's super powerful about, about calendar software is that I used to just use Gmail. I used to just use my Google calendar and send them a, a, an invite, but it's only one message. It's only one email. I want a, a confirmation to go out and I want a reminder email to go out. So in here, you can, um, yes, send a booking confirmation. And then I can come in here and I can write out this email. This is the email. Once they schedule their appointment, this email is going to go out right away. And I can edit this. I can, I can, I can, you know, title it. I can do anything I want with it. I can copy the first name. I can copy this and then I can paste it up here. I can comma our booking is confirmed. And then I can just write whatever I want down here. And that's the, that's the initial email that goes out. I can save that. And then the email reminder, yes, send a reminder. And then this is the new reminder. So I can choose, okay, send this communication reminder days before or an hour before, or I can change the hours before, right? And then here's the other email. This one goes out. And I always do an hour before. So I'll do a, 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 um, an email that goes out right away. And then I'll do one that goes out an hour before our, our, our call. Okay, so I'm going to save that. Okay, so save. Actually, damn it. Why did it change that? Okay, so let's... Okay, actually, this is the next one. Okay, so don't allow cancellations. Yes, allow cancellations. So if a person needs to cancel, let them cancel. Um, instant approval or manual approval approval. If that time slot is available and they schedule that appointment, then it's an instant approval. I don't need to manually approve anything. It's already instant if that time slot was available. Um, and then also what I just skipped through was, um, customer support. So this right here, Kartra comes with the help desk. This is like the Zen desk that a lot of people use the, the customer service, the automated software, dude, Kartra comes with that. So I can choose to use that. Um, if people need it, but, I, but they're not going to need to, you know, do any of that. Um, but I can use that automated software inside of Kartra to communicate with my clients. Um, if they have any questions regarding booking now sync with your Google calendar, this is super, super powerful. So 
this right here, I use Google Calendar to kind of keep my keep my appointments. You know, I I, I open up this and because I have appointments for many different things that I got going on, so I can sync it with that calendar, so I'm not double booking appointments, which is super super powerful. So I'll show you how to configure this one, but all you do is hit change, and then you put yes configure, and then you choose your calendar calendar integration. Um, you have to first create it, which I'll show you how to do, but I'm not going to, I'll put no, no for right now, but I'll show you how to do that. I can assign a tag. I can subscribe to a list. Yes, subscribe to a list. And um, it'll be this right here. Actually, we're not going to subscribe it to this list because these are appointments. These are people that actually scheduled an appointment. Um, actually, you know what? Let's do it to that one. We're going to do it to that one. We're going to do it to that. Yeah, we'll do it to that one. That's the one. And then subscribe to a secret sequence, no. And then so what you want to do is you, so now now our calendar is, is good. Now I can come over here and I can simply name this calendar under the domain, my calendar. So that is the link now, you guys. That is our link that we can start putting in our emails, that we can start giving out and promoting if needed but mainly i put those put this link in my emails to to get people to come to my calendar and schedule an appointment so as you can see the logo up here in the top left is cut off we'll fix that later and then this image looks a little blurry but we'll fix that later but now over here people can come here they can click on it they can schedule an appointment they put their name email and submit and then they go to a thank you page and that thank you page is the one that that i need to set up still so that's the Karcher calendar, man. Super, super powerful. Um, now, in my integrations, here's what you're going to want to do. You come to my integrations on the left, and then you're going to come down to um, Google, and you're going to hit these three dots, and you're going to put new integration. And what you're going to do is you're going to connect it to your Google calendar. So remember, whatever, calendar, whatever account that you're logged into, that email make sure you use that email because I have a ton of different Gmails, right? But you want to choose the one that you're going to integrate it with. Choose that one Gmail, that one email, and, 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 and connect it right here. Hit the blue one, and it walks you through it. Super, super simple. Um, make sure you integrate that first if you want to tie it to your Google Calendar, and I highly suggest you do. Um, that way you're not double booking. Okay, so that's how you set up a Kartra calendar, you guys. If you haven't even played around with Kartra, I don't know what you're waiting for. There's a 14-day trial in, uh, in the description, profitwithkartra.online. Set up your 14-day trial, play around with it, and compare it to what you guys got going on. All right, I'll see you guys on the next video. Over and out.